My name is Christian Benimana. I'm the country programs manager with Mustang Group. Must means model of architecture serving society. We build better buildings and we invest in people who build them and um, we improve lives of people who get touched by any part of those buildings. Uh, that's basically the philosophy. And uh, we believe that uh, every, every architecture project should have a transcendent idea and the, the reason we insist on that is because we see infrastructure development as um, a huge opportunity, not only in, in Rwanda, wherever they are, they represent some of the largest investments that people, organizations make. And we see that opportunity being a source of, uh, of, of starting positive change. So the first uh, thing we do with any project is to determine together with our partners what, um, what mission is the project seek to, to achieve. So with this school, we, we were convinced after Botaro Hospital, after we've learned that a built environment can help heal uh, patients with, with, with diseases or a dignified space for a hospital can make a difference between healthcare delivery uh, everywhere on earth. Uh, we started thinking about how that is relevant to other fields like education, for instance. So one of the challenges in building schools in Rwanda is terrain um, and erosion is a very big problem. So one, one big challenge was how we integrate the school into um, the slope, but then we still create playing areas uh, because we believe uh, early education schools should have playgrounds. So the planning of the school first on uh, the master planning level has the administration on top of the site and then as you go down, um, the classes come and the kindergarten classes are the ones on top, uh, close to the administration, because we figured that they probably need more oversight and they need um, to be, uh, in addition to the teachers in their own classes, they still have to be constantly monitored when they step out of classrooms and, and things like that. And as you step down, you get um, bigger kids' classes for two reasons. One is, as they grow, they require probably less uh, oversight, but they also require a, a more quiet place for concentration. Uh, so that's why like at the bottom of the hill, close to the valley, you have uh, P6. So the playground uh, gets laid playful as you go downhill, uh, because we figure the P6 students, most of the time they just want to stand up and hang out and talk about what Justin Bieber did last night uh, than uh, running around on slides and things like that. Um, so that was also reflected in the colors on the classrooms and the furniture, because the furniture has to cater for the scale of the, of the students. And then the colors at Mass we've used it for two purposes. One is to create um, a vibrant environment, if you will, uh, that is less depressing. Uh, but the other one is, is also to, to make a wayfinding because we, we, rec we recognize that we still operate in a country that some people may not be able to read or are not able to read English. Um, so uh, how do you give someone directions when they come to pick up their kids or they need to access uh, the school when they can't read and it's easier for them to follow a color. For Mubuga School, um, we did it four years after this school and lots of lessons that we learned on this school, we had time to, to prepare for them and, uh, and, and brace and change them. And it's one project that we really had a very controlled um, uh, process around it. The partner I worked with on Mubuga School, we agreed on um, that their support for the school is not for us to just build uh, more classrooms for the school, but it's to improve education outcomes. And then from there, every design decision made was made to contribute towards that mission, that goal. We recognize that universities still do their job in teaching people skills, uh, hard skills, and, and, and knowledge they need. Um, 
things start falling apart when we start applying this knowledge. You find that industries are regulated by how much does it cost, and then we all get hung up on that figure. Uh, like, oh, it's, it's expensive because it's this amount of money. Um, so I think that we want to make the shift. It's, it's a big ask, but I think we can, we can push it if we can have a whole community of designers who think differently, who say, uh, like we started earlier, say, okay, let's set a mission. If you say a school, a school's mission is to improve education outcomes. Like, whatever we do, even constru as construction workers or architects or designers or engineers, like that mission should never leave our mind.